What you can hear are creatures of the night singing in a forested area in Tiapapata, 800 meters above sea level, on the island of Upolu in Samoa. Among these creatures, you can hear the melodic, sometimes playful, sometimes mournful cry of the Mau Mau, the Samoan honey eater. An endangered bird that is endemic to Samoa, the Mau Mau is one of two birds that feature in a Samoan legend telling of how Pili, a mythical and heroic man lizard with powers over creation, saves his beautiful sister Sina from certain starvation at the hands of Fiji's paramount chief, the Tuifiti. The story ends with the proverb Tulituli mata ngau liufia Sina, literally, to follow the path of Sina's broken yam, and teaches that the pursuit of any noble goal can only be realized with the practice of steadfastness, lotomau. The carving and the myth that shapes it represent the overall goal of the Tiapapata Art Center to promote knowledge and relevance of traditional and contemporary arts and crafts in Samoa. Filmmaking is one of the creative pursuits of the Tiapapata Art Center. Fallen Lizard Films is a reference to another famous lizard in Samoa's oral traditions, Bili Pa'u, the progenitor of man who fell from heaven, or perhaps more accurately stated, fell from grace as the legend tells of his eviction from heaven. Fallen Lizard Films feature a range of topics including culture, religion, human rights, environment, development and trade, education, and Samoa's unfolding history. Samoa has a rich and distinctive natural and cultural heritage, and the films attempt to capture this heritage in two genres and in the Samoan language. Archival films are records of historical occasions. An example of this is the more than 15 hours of footage capturing events in May 2007 following the passing of His Highness, the late Malietoa Tanuma Fili II. Another example is the Yo'o series that is a video record of cultural events associated with the investiture of Tuya Tua Tupua Tamasese Taisi Efi as head of state of Samoa. Documentary films are educational and may or may not include a narration. The 2008 film on climate change does not include any narration, but is a series of interviews that provide insight into the climate change issues facing Samoa. Tsunami, on the other hand, is heavily scripted in order that it may convey clearly and accurately some of the lessons that can be learned from this natural disaster. A series of documentary films, produced between 2003 and 2005, explore human rights issues in Samoa, including perceptions people have of this global concern, some of the issues facing persons with disabilities, and how religious freedom in Samoa is undermined by cultural constraints. Not all films are captured in Samoa. In 2007, filmmaker Nalumalimana Stephen Percival, a 
accompanied their highnesses to Yatua to Pua Tamasese Taisi and Masi Ofofilifilia Tamasese to New Zealand Aotearoa on their first state visit to a foreign country. Close to 12 hours of footage captures this historic visit. In 2008, their highnesses visited the People's Republic of China, where close to 17 hours was recorded for posterity. Unlike the New Zealand visit, however, the footage from China was subsequently produced to a 54-minute documentary at the request of the head of state. A similar production has been started following a visit to Hawaii in 2008, where His Highness launched his latest book, Sue Sue Manongi. There are films exploring the archaeological sites of the Faleolefe, or House of the Octopus, Oleano Seuau, Seuau's cave, and Oletia Seulupe, the pigeon snaring mound. There are also productions on Samoa's fruit and vegetable sector strategy and Pacific Island exhibitions in and trade with Japan. More recently, a film on the state of the Millennium Development Goals in Samoa produced in 2010, highlights some of the constraints placing some goals and targets at risk of not being achieved. If there is any one theme, however, that appeals most, it is the many and varied expressions of Samoan culture with its inherent traditional ecological knowledge. It is this branch of knowledge that is the focus of a series of films exploring Samoa's creative economy, beginning with the inspired wealth that lies latent within the coconut tree. Oleanga Nu'umanungyo Samoa exploring the rich culture associated with the making and use of fragrant coconut oil and Afa on the making and use of coconut senate are two films in this series. A mo mona le vau watapisa ne ngatai fale is a Samoan proverb teaching that when berries and fruits are plentiful in the forest the seaside is noisy. Mo mona a word used to describe fleshiness in certain seafoods, such as the sea urchin, tui tui, is creatively applied in the proverb to the forest, vau, where it refers instead to ripening seeds, berries and fruits consumed by pigeons, lupe, fruit doves, manutangi, and many other native birds of Samoa. As the trees and birds become heavy, in this abundant season, Samoans know it is also time to harvest food from the sea, hence the noisiness on the coast. It is hoped that Fallen Lizard Films, produced by Paradigm Documentaries of the Tiapapata Art Centre, captures some of the richness of Samoa's heritage and that the coastline, represented by viewers, will be noisy with approval.